Damn, that's that's one of my favorite ones I've done. Yeah, that's it, kind of how it all started. So I'm here with James, and the studio now is Affinity Airbrush, as you can see here on the shelf. Super, super hospitality, high level place. We have this broken spray gun on the other side, there's a coffee, and you know, the, uh, some food. Actually, I'm going to jump there in a minute. Okay. So, yeah, I'll leave you guys with that. Uh, James, what we're doing here is, uh, we just brought out a question, was talking about the air compressor. They have, I'm not going to you know, tell you the brand, but it's. Uh, it's about the same, I'll say, noise as our 2D compressor produced. Mm -hmm. So if you plug it in, I don't know if it's something. Not unplug it. Okay, don't worry. But uh, again, it's, it's something like 2D. So I'm gonna start running this thing now and you tell me if it's better. Yeah, what uh, PSI we said at? Okay, uh, we said at, I think, 30. Is that something workable for you? Around 40? 30? 37, 38, yeah. something like that is good. Yeah, that should be good. That's fine. Okay. Right, so we're shooting at 40 psi. Yeah, this gun. I love this gun. Nice, nice lines. Excellent control. I like the compression. Got some mud spotted, and that one is seems to work. See the control on it? Uh huh. So smooth. I couldn't do this with another gun that I had. And I'm not gonna say the name. So yeah, that's a new model we just introduced this year. And uh, yeah, it's, it's getting quieter and quality is higher because it's not Chinese product anymore. So our 2D line, they made in China, this made in Taiwan. A much higher quality. Probably gonna have like two years warranty on those. Okay. Yeah, I like it. I like the, the design of it. I like the chrome. Anyways, let's talk about you guys. What, uh, where are you coming from and what's your uh, plan with it? It's a really nice setup. Thank you. It's a home setup, so it's a, well, it used to be what, the dining room? Or? <laughs> yeah, it was a dining room. Big kitchen was here, oh, or the, the table was here. But and It's a really nice clean setup. You got all the credits paint here, so you will see a bunch of bottles. Uh, and you know what you're doing. And, uh, yeah, you started with Fishing we did. We started. So we all love fishing. We're family of five, uh, and to buy that much tackle for that many people is really expensive. Uh -huh. So we found out you could buy them blank and paint them your own. So we got a little, just a small airbrush and started painting our own. And uh, as we were doing that, learning more about painting our own baits, we seen Dale on YouTube shooting uh -huh. uh, his shirts and uh, thought it was pretty cool. We give it a shot. Uh, started with two other products of, uh, of the air guns, of the airbrush, and uh, started on shirts, and then uh, picked up a no-name. And the no-name to me, just versus the other ones that I've had, mm -hmm. it, it shoots a lot better. I've got more control with it, but that just kind of led us into, you know, really wanting to, uh, to jump in to, mm -hmm. to make this a legitimate business. Well, let's see some of your shirts. I definitely see some uh, skills there. So you do lettering. Yeah, that's the one I worked on recently. Oh, actually, I love this idea. It's really cool. <laughs> the colors you can choose from. <laughs> Here's that. We're going to need it soon, right? We have the uh, birthday coming up. So as soon as well. Better, she can have it. That's just a design we kind of mm. came up with and shot. And just kind of most of them are practice and to what we put together. You guys using any stencils at all? Or so no, no. No. No the stencils. Brick walls. Mm -hmm. uh, brick walls or stencils. See, that's practice. On the other side mm -hmm. of the, is one we're kind of putting together. V bucks mm -hmm. for the gold chain because of, you know, the game. But awesome. I think the only stencil I used was the mermaid on that mm -hmm. one. Uh, the elephant. And then I made my own brick wall. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it is. There's a shirt here somewhere. It's like the queen. The brick wall here. So mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I made a stencil. So she looks pretty. Drew it out on plastic. Stylish, I'll say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not. Nice. That's it. The rest is all free, yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, there's some really cool designs. What did you use for stencil here? Uh, a mesh. It's some, get, like, some interesting mesh. Or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this nice little detail. Freehand. The yeah, lightning cool. bolt on flash was uh, a stencil I cut out of cardboard. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we had to bring Alisa in, my daughter, she's an uh, airbrush artist, right? Did you do some airbrush? Yes, she really airbrush. helped us with uh, you know, demo and this uh, cordless compressors and airbrushes. We've been talking about and doing airbrush with kids in the hospital. So there are two products we have now currently available. This is the new one just came in. And I have to warn you, they are lower pressure, of course, than you know, regular compressor. So it's not going to be as Amazing. crazy on the alley. Is, uh, it, is it dual action? Yeah, still the action. So what we have here, that's how the new compressor look like. You can attach it directly to airbrush without a uh, visit house or without a house. So I'm gonna use, uh, I'm actually gonna lose the house now and just go directly to compressor. But generally speaking, I could use uh, the house and it still be double action. So I'll still compressor will be turning off. I'm gonna give it to Alisa. This your airbrush. How does that work? Well, there's a little uh, four, four piston kind of compressor there, miniature one inside of the of this device with the battery. So good for 45 minutes straight work. If you, you know, pull trigger and it's continue. Okay, you ready? Make sure you're going to draw hard. You're going to start out with one circle, kind of on the left side of the shirt. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Try to hold whenever you, whenever you paint. Try to point the gun straight at the shirt instead of this way. And you'll get a sharper line. Point it straight. Straight at the gun or the shirt. Yeah. There you go. Okay, we're gonna make another circle right beside that circle. See how they touch here? Yes. You try it. Yeah. Okay. There you go. And now with this dot, we're gonna start a line from here and then go to the dot. Watch me. Good. And then same on the other side, from here to here. Good job. And now we can just color the whole heart in. Just color it all in. See, this is what I would love to do at the hospital mm -hmm. or any event. Just get, get kids in and just let them color and play. Introduce them into the airbrush. Yeah. Well, exactly. It's not it's not a production and kind of t-shirt painting mm -hmm. setup. Of course, it's too low pressure. Yeah. But going out somewhere, all you need is uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's perfect. Our meeting came to its uh, end, I'll say, finale, run finale. So we have a couple presents for each year and uh, two of the spray gun caps. Thank you. Them, please. We have a few stickers for you, so yeah. you're using Tridex colors, yeah. and I'll leave it for you. And I know eventually, because you guys are still kind of you know, experimenting with stuff here and there, t-shirts, things like that, you're gonna try one of the most, I think, popular right now, most growing industries from Airbrush is uh, shoes. Airbrush and shoes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Sneakers, things like that. That's uh, the best paint for it. Illustration colors from Tridex. The finest paint, so they're really nice, you know, when it goes to leather or anything like that would use for you know, fabrics for shoes. They're really nice holding there and we love the set and also the finish for, uh, for shoes as well from Elkin Shoes. 
Thank you. So there's something for you to develop maybe for zero, you know, zero rushes. Alright, well. Thank you so much for meeting you. Thanks for coming to the